best friends or frenemies. How do you really know when a friendship is over? Body language expert Darren Stanton tells us what to watch for. We've all had those Charlie Brown moments of self-doubt where we wonder whether our friends really care for us. Most of the time, those worries are unfounded. Still, there's something to be said for gut feelings. If you're getting the sense that you might be in a one-sided friendship, one in which the other person isn't as invested as you are, paying attention to their faces and gestures can help you determine whether your instincts are spot on. To find out what our unspoken cues can say about the health of a friendship, the list spoke to body language expert Darren Stanton, who explained, like the combination to a lock, when we find someone else in our life that has a similar combination, we begin to establish rapport. Rapport is the essence of all human connection and development. Hi. 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 He adds that it takes just a few seconds to form a first impression of someone and feel that bond. But the opposite is true as well. The appearance of a certain smile, the position of the feet, or a twitch of the nose can all be a quiet way of saying, I think our relationship has run its course. Stanton offers his insights on how to tell when a friend doesn't appreciate you for the awesome person you are. One clue may be in the way they smile. A sincere grin stretches both sides of the mouth equally, whereas someone who's faking happiness will unconsciously raise one side higher. Stanton said, By displaying a one-sided smile, they are almost leaking the emotion of contempt. Another giveaway of a fake grin is the eyes. Neurologists say when we're truly happy, the muscles around our eyes stretch, causing wrinkles to appear at the edges. When our joy is just a put-on, the eye muscles stay relaxed. Of course, context is everything. A friend going through a hard time, like a divorce or a layoff, may not be able to put their heart into a real smile. You're also likely to see that half grin after you've told a groaner of a joke. But if your pal flashes that pseudo-smile almost constantly, take it as a warning. Stanton puts it more bluntly. If you see this in your relationship or friendship, it is pretty much doomed. You're like really pretty. Thank you. In addition to their delight at being with you, a true friend is concerned with your own happiness. They'll celebrate your big and little victories alike. On the other hand, Stanton pointed out, some friends may find this difficult because they're not thrilled with their own lot in life. He told The List, Despite the close friendship and deep rapport you may enjoy with another person, sometimes they do not want to accept your success as it makes them feel bad about themselves. Think about the last time you shared some good news with a friend. Did they seem excited and press you for details? Or did they try to change the subject as quickly as possible? And was this a one-time incident or is it an ongoing issue? If a pal seems uninvested in your well-being, it's time to reevaluate the relationship. Ditto if the friend seems happiest when you're miserable. These types of people can rob you of your joy by making you feel as though you don't deserve your earned success. Another warning sign to look for, says Stanton, is a friend wrinkling their nose around you as though they smell something bad. This subtle gesture signals that the person literally finds you unpleasant to be around. He added, It can be very fast and you need to be super observant to see it. If you do see this in a friend, the friendship is pretty much over. Feeling like you're not a priority in your friend's life is another clue that the relationship has run its course. Stanton told The List, Another way of spotting a fake friend is whether they always make excuses as to why they cannot meet up for lunch or coffee, especially when they are usually readily available. Unless they have a new job or relationship, this behavior is a clear red flag that something is not right. Why are you avoiding me? I'm not. You can opt to confront your friend about the situation and be honest. This may spur your friend either to become more accessible to you or to admit they'd rather take a break. But again, actions speak louder than words. If your friend keeps canceling get-togethers, even after promising to find the time, you're better off spending your time with people who don't put you last.